So you want to create a wood grain texture. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to create a wood grain like texture. A lot of you guys asked me for um, more nature type things, more realistic things, or, you know, things of that nature, of that nature. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to get started today, um, and it's just a couple of nodes, which is pretty simple. So I have a, uh, a sphere here, a UV sphere, um, that I have added a subdivision surface modifier to right there, and I just bumped the view up to 2. I also went to object and turned this to shade smooth. We have opened our second tab here, dragging from the left-hand side. I split my window into 2, and we're going to go ahead and um, just add in a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a shift A. And then we'll have the principled BSDF shader, which you will have by default if you have the regular material. So we'll hook that up. Um, then we have a few more things. We have a, no a noise texture. So Shift A, uh, search, and then we're gonna grab a noise texture, and we're gonna grab two more things here. Uh, we're gonna duplicate this noise texture, put that right there, and then Shift A, and this will be Voronoi. So we'll grab that VOR, and we'll plug all these in. So I'll plug the noise into these uh, into the vector, and then the color into the metallic of the principal BSDF shader. Now you can see when this is done, it looks something like that, which looks kind of like granite or marble, which we might do a tutorial for in the future, but not right now. Um, <laughs> but you can see if I were to go ahead and uh, and paste this, I have some stuff pasted, copied right now actually. So if I control V, we can move this down. You can see the difference that that one node will make. If we have this noise texture here, instead of the musgrave, like it's supposed to be, if we have that musgrave texture, it'll look something, if we have the noise texture, it'll look something like this, which looks more like marble. Uh, it's a big, big difference. But if I were to go ahead and change this from a noise texture to this, if I shift D here, to this musgrave texture and plug that into the vector instead, you can see that we will have something more similar to that, which is more what we need for the wood texture. Now, if I were to go ahead and just copy these settings that I already created off camera here uh, for the noise texture, which goes into the displacement, by the way, we can do something like uh, 0.5 and 16 for the detail. 0.5 and 16. Point five. There we go. So we have a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, uh, texture on there, so it doesn't look completely flat, which looks very nice. Um, we can go ahead and finish this off by grabbing. I'll grab the same color here, which is uh, we'll just drag that over to the base color. So we have a little bit of a brownish color. The hex value for that is AE7F60. If you want to take that exact color, and then we'll grab the subsurface color as well and plug that into the subsurface uh, color right there. And the the hex value for that is AE8. E6A, which is also a nice color. Um, now, for the actual uh, values themselves, I literally have everything off except for the first three. The first three, specular, specular tint, and roughness, are all up to one. Now, if we boosted that all the way up, then we should be totally fine with the rest of that stuff. We also want to make sure in our uh, render tab here, we also have uh, subsurface scattering on. If we have it on, you can see it'll look something like that. If we have it off, then it will look pretty much no difference because we don't have that up. Oh, that's why. <laughs> there we go. So if I had if I had that on, then you can see it will look like looks like a marble right now, but it's like, it looks like a, look like a pearl. That's pretty cool. It looked like that, which is not exactly the best looking thing. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and undo that, and you can see um, if if we undo that, it looks it looks quite nice. But but as you can tell, it is still being influenced even if the subsurface value is off. So this is the point I'm trying to get across to you. So we're going to need to leave that on even though subsurface scattering is not checked in the render tab. Um, it still does make a difference. So we can go ahead and get rid of this because we don't need them. We don't need them anymore is what I was going to say. Um, so for the Veronoi texture value, we're going to go ahead and do something like uh, 15.5. Now you can see we have those nice bands that um, that wood grain textures usually have, and for the scale, uh, this is this is going to be a personal preference. But uh, the lower you go, the usually the better it looks. So uh, if we leave it on one, it looks like that. But if we bump it up to five, it'll start looking crazy and not much like wood. Some wood does look like this actually, but it's more tampered with wood. You know, it's it's kind of handmade, crafted wood where they put a bunch of pieces together and whatnot. But somewhere around one is fine for regular wood grain texture. Maybe we can even get that up to 1.5. Yeah, I, I I guess so, but I'm, I'm going to stick with one for the time being for the scale of the Musgrave texture. All right, so that is pretty much all I had for the wood grain texture. I thought that came out pretty well. Um, if you want it to be a little bit uh, more shiny, you can always just turn that roughness down. You see we get that nice shine on there, which looks gorgeous. Um, and we just have that really nice uh, uh, wood grain 
shader right there. So I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. It looks uh, quite nice. There we go, and uh, rendered in, in material mode there. The material mode has some a very nice uh, uh, skybox reflections going on right now. Um, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed it. I will see you in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.